Rams getting even better. Are they now the team to beat in the NFC? I think they are. Mm. I, 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 listen, Stephen A., I, I saw your list, your little list. I actually thought you did a good job this week. I thought the teams were correct. But really? unfortunately for me, the Rams are number one. And I love the Cowboys. Marcus Spears, you know I've been high on the Cowboys. I've been high on Dak Prescott forever. But when you really break it down and compare these two rosters, the Rams have the edge. First, offensively, uh, I would say both of these offenses are comparable in terms of generating explosive plays. People might point to the Rams and say, well, look at the level of competition. They actually rank first in the NFL in defense-adjusted value over average. That's Football Outsiders DVOA metrics. So they have been beating the brakes off of teams. Defense, to me, is why I give the no. Rams the edge. I love the improvements that Dan Quinn has made, for sure. They got some rising young talent. But in adding Von Miller to this defense, the Rams now have three future Hall of Famers mm -hmm. between Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, and Von Miller. This pass rush, which was already exceptionally good, they don't got a blitz now. We talked about this on NFL Live anymore with Von in the mix situationally. Then finally, the deciding vote for me, head coach. I go Sean McVay over Mike McCarthy. Again, very close. Mm -hmm. Love the Cowboys. Right. I just think the Rams are the best team in the well, NFL at the moment. Well, I mean, what I, one of the things that I would say to you, mean is that I think it's important to recognize that the Rams had – an important game against Arizona, and they got shellac. That's number one. Number two, uh, Matthew Stafford, as gifted as he is, has no playoff success uh, to, to validate any any uh, adulation that's thrown in his direction. I believe in the brother. Uh, they got a top five offense, uh, yards allowed, points scored, pass and attack, et cetera. They're 21st uh, against the pass and the yards allowed. And so Von, Von Miller is definitely going to help in that regard. We get there. But I think the most important point before I hand it off to Swag mean is that let's, so. just, let's just pay attention to It's important to acknowledge the Cowboys as the top team right now. I mean, after all, I mean, there's pressure that comes with that. There's pressure that comes with that. See, when you say number two, you know, you just put somebody over them. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do is you want to put the Cowboys number one. You want them to be in the prosperous position leave, that, leave they, it alone. that their leave fan it alone. base swears leave they it belong alone. in. Just give Don't it to do them. It. Just give just it to leave them right it alone. there. Just That's all I'm it, saying. Okay, buddy? Let it live today, That's it. Stephen That's it. A. Let That's it live today. It. That's right. Okay? I got I got NFL Live at 4 o'clock right. p.m. Eastern with Mina, and we're going to have to talk about this because she's yeah. wrong. Okay, the Dallas Cowboys are the best team in the NFC right yes, now. I agree. I agree. Right I agree. now, I agree. it's the Cowboys. Absolutely. All right? we, for the sake of time, I'm going to pause and let Mina have the floor. I Go just, ahead, Mina. Yeah, Stephen A. talked about playoff experience. Again, Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Von Miller. I love Dallas. I love what they're doing, but we are talking about a lot of young players and a turnover-dependent defense. That's all. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.